this is literally the best time in the world to have a complexion video because I'm going through something. If you didn't see my Instagram, I tried a new moisturizer that my skin did not agree with. So this is supposed to be a lighter coverage product, but I hope we can just tone this redness down. So I ran to Sephora today because the new Fenty Beauty Each Drop Stick Blur Plus Smooth Tint Stick Foundation launch. I got there and they didn't even have anything on the display. It was empty, so I had to tell them, this launch is today, can you go in the back and grab it for me? I feel like at the Sephora I go to most of the time, these new launches, I'm the one that tells them and then they stock it after. I'm like, hey, this launch today, I'm, I'm that crazy person. But anyways, $35. So the highlights of this, cream formula, light coverage, Long wear tint stick with a creamy and smooth texture that instantly blurs while mel melting into the skin for a natural finish. So the coverage they say is light also to medium. Finish natural formulation cream. And the reason I was so interested in trying this is because it's from the Eavesdrop line. And I absolutely loved this Fenty Eavesdrop blurring skin tint. So I wanted to try, I guess, the stick version of this, and I love a good stick foundation. So here is what the packaging looks like, typical Fenty packaging, and I can see the product is made in Italy and has a 12-month shelf life. And then this is what it looks like. It's a very lightweight packaging because it's 100% recyclable and I mean it feels recyclable it does not feel luxe at all but I'll take it if you can recycle it I ended up picking the shade number six up and for reference I have normal to dry skin right now I would say it's a bit dry from my travels and as you can see it's very sensitive and acne prone so you take this off and it actually is going to come with a little cap so that the product remains untouched I already swatch tested this, so this was on here. And then what's also really nice that they make sure to point out on their socials is that you can roll this all the way up, even past where normal, can you see that? Stick foundations go, I don't wanna pull it out too much, but it is full all to its potential capacity. So let's prep the skin really quickly. I mean, let's just get into it. I don't know what else to say. My skin is already well hydrated. I'm going to also add a second layer of hydration with the Fenty Soft Silk Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. I do, I'm hesitant to use this primer because I really want this to last. It is a cream base, so it might be better to use a longer lasting base, but my skin is also very thirsty right now so I'm going out to dinner tonight so hopefully this looks good in the next six hours so I don't look crazy are you ready this is a perfect skin match for me this is for thumbnail Jose I'm a little closer, see all of the pores, and I found, like I said, I did kind of play with this a second ago before I started turning the camera on. Look how easily this is blending out. I'm using a BK Beauty 109, which was just restocked on their website, to blend this out. I do like to use a brush for stick foundations because you can keep more coverage this way. And sometimes stick foundations, because they're in a compact form, they can be a little bit harder to blend out, so it's good to use something dense like this. But I will say this is quite the malleable formula, so I don't think it's gonna be much of an issue if you wanna use a sponge. Get a little bit of redness on the nose so you can see. So this is what a light layer of this looks like compared to the side that does not have any product. It looks very nice, it melts to the skin, very hydrating. I don't know about blurring because you can absolutely still see my pores and whatnot, but it has an extremely skin-like finish, which a lot of cream foundations will, which is what I like about them. It doesn't feel too heavy and it is a true light coverage. I'm gonna try a little bit of coverage more on this side to see self-explanatory why I would want that. So we're just gonna pop the stick right over the acne spots and see what happens. And I'm gonna do a second layer so we can see if we can get that medium coverage that it claims to have. But oh, it's blending so good. My first impressions as of like up to this point is yes, I'm loving the consistency and the finish of this. And that did a pretty good job because this was pretty cherry red. That's good. Ooh, I'm happy with that. 
Honestly, I would say this gives a lighter side of medium coverage. It's giving more coverage than I expected, and I feel like, let's see if it's buildable. Not that I need too much extra coverage right now. No, the coverage is totally buildable to, I would say, a medium-ish. Maybe not full medium, but definitely a medium coverage. I don't want to apply too thick of a layer because that can compromise longevity. But I am very happy with this. I'm going to kind of spot conceal in places that I feel like, <gasps> oh yeah. So if you do need a thicker layer on acne like me, just pop your finger over. It's looking a little crustier in this area, but my face was crusty. <laughs> so <laughs> we can't change that. No, I feel like this definitely is really smooth looking on my skin. It has a super skin-like finish. Blurring... I think that's a little bit far, but I have a lot of powders that can do that. This is exactly what I was hoping this would be. I had bad experiences with some of Fenty's complexion products in the past, but this eavesdrop line, I've loved the skin tint and then this now foundation stick. How healthy and beautiful does this make my skin look? Mm, I'm liking it. So I'm going to put products I'm familiar with over top to watch their performance. But <laughs> this application part, we're looking good. Makeup is done. I tested a new palette today, Heaven on Earth from Sydney Grace. This launched during their 20 their Christmas in July sales, what it's called. Uh, but I'm gonna pop on some falsies this evening because I'm going out to dinner. But for now, I don't feel like having falsies on. My skin looks so nice. I can already tell that this is gonna be a beautiful product for dry skin. Oily skin, I'm not so sure. I'll be out in the humidity today to kind of see how it wears. But so far, I'm loving it. It gives a hydrated look, lighter side of medium coverage, buildable coverage. That's what's great about foundation sticks is you can truly customize how much coverage you are getting. Oh, it looks so stinking good. So it is 2 o'clock. I'm going to update you throughout the day, but let me pop on over to the window on my iPhone so that you can see. So this is how we look directly in front of my windows. You can get a better deal of what the texture on my skin looks like because I do have textured skin. You can see a little bit of my freckles through, but everything looks fantastic. And if you're curious about anything I have on my face, I'll have it linked in the description box. Uh, but I'm really, really happy with this so far so I'll keep you updated over the next few hours okay so it's almost 6 30 so we've been wearing the makeup for like four and a half hours I wanted to do the midway check-in and it definitely doesn't look as fantastic as a lot of other foundations so I would say not the most long wearing but it still looks pretty good I can see the oil starting to collect right here and it is collecting in my smile lines now I'm headed out to dinner for a few more hours, so I'm gonna do a very minimal fix. So I'm just going to blend my smile lines a little bit. I'm gonna take a powder brush. that I didn't put any additional powder on, but it still has the powder remaining from when I first applied this morning. Cause right here, it looks the most oily. It's not breaking up underneath here, which is good because sometimes I find foundations will break up under there but just right here it's starting to look a little oily but now that I've touched it up it looks almost as good as new so I would say right now not super long wearing but 
doable, but we will see at the end of the night. <laughs> I just got back from dinner and I had a milkshake, so my makeup around the mouth looks a little crazy. But we've been wearing the makeup for like nine, almost ten hours. I think it looks good, all things considered. I definitely see this oiled up, can see this going into the smile lines here. It looks not great over my zit, but all things considered, I feel like for it being a creamier foundation, I'm not embarrassed that I was out in public like this. It's not a tragedy. Is it what I would consider a long wearing foundation? No, but one thing that I'm noticing that I do like about it is sometimes these creamy foundations can almost look heavier on the skin. I feel like other than this area right here, everything looks really smooth and light still. Just in this area, the oil has collected a bit and it doesn't like my smile lines, it really doesn't. But just like, for example, this is one of my favorite concealers and it still creases. That's what happens, we have creases on our face. There is really not many miracle products out there, we gotta be realistic. But even now I feel like I can just kind of zhuzh everything about and we can get a fresher look once again. So I'm into this foundation stick. I think it's lovely and emollient. I think it's definitely more appropriate for more dry skin types. If you enjoyed the East Drop Blurring Skin Tint, I think you'll enjoy this new stick format. I feel like there's a little bit more personalization available in the stick format. I don't know, I'm gonna have to do these side by side to really be able to tell the difference. I don't wanna speak of something that I haven't yet tested, but I'm enjoying the stick. I'll have to do a side by side and then let you guys know. But I don't think I recommend this for oily skin, especially in the summer if you're gonna be out and sweaty. Longevity, I don't think is a strong suit of these, but it's doable. I'm really happy with the performance of it today. So I give this my stamp of approval. I definitely really like this. I'm excited about it. It is a success in the Fenty complexion line. So I'm going to continue wearing this though because sometimes, you know what, in different environments with different products, products can perform differently. So I will have this in an upcoming speed reviews after wearing it many more times to let you know my final, final thoughts, but we are starting off on the right foot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you tried this, let me know. Better yet, if you've tried this, and you have any skin type, whatever skin type you have. If you've tried this, let me know your skin type and your experiences with it. I'd love to hear if you have any tips or tricks for a better application, a better wear time, let me know. Thank you guys so much for liking this video, <laughs> being subscribed to my channel. I will catch you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.